श्री स्वामीनारायण भगवान नी जक्षर पुरुषोत्तम महाराज नी जय गुणातीतानंद स्वामी महाराज नी जय प्रमुख स्वामी महाराज नी जय महंत स्वामी महाराज नी जय प्रमुख स्वामी महाराज शताब्दी महोत्सव नी जय आज आप परम पूज्य प्रमुख स्वामी महाराज नु जीवन एनो विशेष अभ्यास आप पार्ट बी मफ पार्ट वन आप जो है पेजिज फोर्टी सिक्स टू वन हंड्रेड दिस इज कवरिंग द इस फ्रॉम नाइटीन फोर्टी टू नाइटीन फोर्टी फाइव एंड इन द एप वे वी हेव गिवन द नोट्स देर इज अ समरी ऑफ ईच सब चैप्टर विथ रफ डेट्स एज वेल सो वी नो द क्रम द ओर्डर of the important events from the life of Pramukh Swami Maharaj when he was young. So, we are currently covering 1940. Uh, last time we saw that Pramukh Swami Maharaj, he took Diksha, Parshat Diksha in Amdavad. And then he went to Bochasan with Sastriji Maharaj. And then Sastriji Maharaj actually arranged for studies in Badran. This was when he was still a Parshat. So he studied for about a month in Badran while he was a Parshad. And then Sastriji Maharaj, when the sadhus went to Amdavad to attend the Parayan, Sastriji Maharaj asked about Sarangpur. And then Sastriji Maharaj took Shanti Bhagat, he was still a Bhagat, to Sarangpur where he had his first darshan. And then he took him to Gondal, to the Akshaderi. Again, it was the first darshan there. And there, one night, in Gondal, uh, Sastriji Maharaj uh, spoke to Shanti Bhagat about Diksha. Harjivan Swami also spoke. And it was decided to give Shanti Bhagat Diksha, Bhagwati Diksha. So the following morning, this was on the 10th of January 1940, Sastriji Maharaj, in the presence of Yogiji Maharaj doing Mahapuja, gave Diksha to Shanti Bhagat. And at that time, he was uh, given Diksha and his name was Narayan Swarup Das. And Sastri Maharaj also asked Yogi Ji Maharaj to give blessings as well. And Sastri Maharaj himself gave blessings to his young disciple. And then this was in Gondal. So Sastri Ji Maharaj uh, gave Agna to Narayan Swarup Das that you stay in Gondal and um, you study Sanskrit. So. There was Swami in, uh, in Gondal studying Sanskrit, but also doing many other sevas. But studying in Gondal, there was a Sastri called Jivaram Sastri who used to teach to Bapa. And then, while Swami was doing this seva in Gondal, again, this must have been like early 1940, um, Gansham Maharaj, he gave Sakshat Darshan and Sastri Maharaj gave Darshan in Gondal to Bapa. We went through that prasang in quite a lot of detail last time. So in this way, that Swami was in uh, Gondal, Dikshana Lagbag Dor Maina Thaya Hashe, and Sastriji Maharaj came back to Gondal. And then after that, a Swami Shri, he joined Sastriji Maharaj in his Vichran. And they reached Sarangpur. So now we're starting some new prasangs. Now we're starting from B8. You can see the pages on the top of the uh, slides that you can see on your screen. So just imagine now Sastriji Maharaj is in Sarangpur with his disciple Narayan Swarup Das, who's received Diksha probably around one and a half to two months previously. And there was a administrator of Latidar, which is quite close to Sarangpur. His name was Har Govindbhai. Now, he had a friend, and he was a magistrate of Dorka, Shankar Prasad Trivedi. And he brought his friend for darshan to Sarangpur. And Shankar Prasad was a photographer. In, that days, in those days, you didn't have digital cameras. So, Shankar Prasad wished to take a photograph of Sastriji Maharaj, which he did. And so, there was Sastriji Maharaj sitting with Har Govind Bhai of Latidar. And the photographer was Shankar Prasad. And he took this photograph. He was very impressed with Sastriji Maharaj. Yet he was living in this small hut made of mud and clay. And then he had one more photograph left or one more plate left. So he wondered what to do. 
So he told Sastriji Maharaj, I want to take another photograph. And I want you sitting alone, as if posing for a photograph. So Sastriji Maharaj, he said, no. He said, look, let me call somebody. And instead of calling a Varil Sant, a senior Sant, uh, Sastriji Maharaj, he called this young Sadhu, Narayan Swarup Das, who Shankar Prasad was probably seeing for the first time. So here was this 18-year-old novice. And Sastri Maharaj told him, can sit next to me. And then Sastri Maharaj's face immediately lit up when this young sadhu sat next to him. And then Shankar Prasad, he was also surprised. In the first photograph that he had taken of uh, Sastri Maharaj with Har Govind Bhai, Sastri Maharaj looked very strict and serious. And then suddenly his expressions changed when he had this young disciple next to him. And Swami Sri, this was uh, the first time that anyone was probably ever, not probably, was taking a photograph of him. So he looked at Sastri Ji Maharaj and uh, he saw Sastri Ji Maharaj, you know, like you, Iman Sai Maharaj, Dhyan Karene, that he has both uh, hands uh, on the side or on his knees. And uh, Sastri Ji Maharaj uh, was, obviously had his hands like that. So Swami also, like, did the same as Sastri Ji Maharaj. And Sastri Ji Maharaj at that time, he saw this and he said to Swami, Ke har jori ne bes, am mahatmani jem na besai. Guru agar har jori ne bes fu. Ke fold your hands, do not sit like a mahatma. In front of the Guru, one should sit with folded hands. And in this way, Swami folded his hands and the photograph was taken. A beautiful photograph that we've seen many, many times. And... Every time, or oh, many times, Bapa used to remind us as well. Ke avidite swamiya shikwariu etle tyarthi hat jorelaj rakhya che. That is how Swami, his whole life, ke hat jorinej kam kariu che. So you can see this photograph of Sastriji Maharaj with his face lit up with his young disciple, the humble Narayan Swarup Das. An important line, ke I've always kept my hands folded. I remember Bapa was in Merav in 2009 to 2010. And Eva Swami saw this photograph in his room. It was also in Amdawad, um, this, this photograph. And Swami often, this, I'm talking about 2012, 2013. And Swami often seeing this photograph would um, tell, talk to us about Sastriji Maharaj. So Bapa would say, Je apre sambari che, ke avirite tiarti hat joriya che, ane apru kam chale che. He's ran the whole sansa with his hand folded. And once we asked Bapa in Amdad, I remember in 2012, Ke Bapa, Akon Che, pointing to Sastriji Maharaj. Bapa was sitting on his bed, and on one of the walls there was this photograph. So the Santos asked Bapa, Ke Bapa, Akon Che. So Bapa go, Amara Guru Sastriji Maharaj. Pachi, we asked Bapa, Ke Bapa, Bajuma Kon Che, Ke No Chelo. Erite Swami Pachi, Hasi Padia. It lavirite pan Bapa, Smurti Karta. It's a very famous photograph, the first photograph to exist of our Guru Pramukh Sai Maharaj, the first in the many thousands or lakhs or even millions of photographs that were ever taken of our Guru Pramukh Sai Maharaj. And then um, Swami was in Vichram with Sastriji Maharaj. Now during this time, he would never allow any opportunity to lapse. He always took the opportunity to do seva of Sastriji Maharaj. He would bathe him, bring hot water, arrange his puja, prepare his meals. And not only that, the Hari Bhaktas that would be there, um, traveling with Sastriji Maharaj, he would also look after them. It's not like you stick to the Guru all day, but he would be thinking of the Guru's wishes. And Sastriji Maharaj obviously Icha was, Ke Hari Bhakta Hoi Badanu Sarite Sachvi Shakai. So Swami would also look after that. And then even when Swami rested in the afternoon, well actually he didn't, but Swami Sastri Ji Maharaj rested in the afternoon. So Sastri Ji Maharaj liked the room dark, totally pitch black. So Swami would arrange for that as well. Obviously in those days there were no lights and there was no electricity. Pankha Mate, Swami would use a hand fan, Hat Pankho Aprakeene, to fan Sastri Ji Maharaj in the afternoon while he was sleeping. Karanke ek to garmi hoi, biju machar hoi ke maki hoi. So Sastri Ji Maharaj can sleep Restfully, this was Swami Sri's bhakti. And the mutual affection between Sastriji Maharaj and his disciple uh, Narayan Swarup Das, also known as Narayanda, also known as Narayan Swami, and Sastriji Maharaj used to call him Narayan Muni as well sometimes. 
So the mutual affection between the disciple, uh, between the guru and the disciple, there was a Hari Bhakta called Kashi Kaka of Badran. Juna Hari Bhakta to Dhamma Gaya. But he used to say, okay, imagine seven brothers, and between them they have uh, only one brother, he has a child. Only one child between seven brothers. And that son has gone abroad, Pardesh. And he returns from Pardesh after 12 long years. What joy would it bring to the parents? What joy would it bring to the brothers? In exactly the same way, whenever Sastri Jimaj met Narayan Swami, such joy was ex experienced. Imagine a king being blessed with a child at the old age of 60. Imagine the affection that he would shower on that child. That I have seen with my own eyes. I have seen with my own eyes Sastri Jimaj showering the same affection on Narayan Swami. Najare me joyuvatu. So you can see that this was the love that Sastri Jimaj had for his disciple. Sastri Jimaj also would also give prasadi to Narayan Swarup Das. In Ukaro Kadach Ape. Jamti Vakate, he would tell him, Kemari Bajuma Bes. And he would give him prasad. Prasadi ni rotli pankadach Ape. Swami na modama prasadi ni rotli jamarta, Sastri Jimaj. And he even tied Swami's pag on his head. To Eritepan, you can see the affection between the Guru and the disciple. And now, we're going back to studies. So, let's go back from the beginning. Okay, as Shanti Bhagat, he studied for about one month in Badran. After Diksha in Gondal, he stayed in Gondal and he studied there. Again, that will, must have been a month, one and a half months. And now, the third place where Swami is studying is Badran. Pachi Kambat Aose and Pachi Amdad Pan Aose and Pachi Ta Swami permanently Seva Majurai Gya. Atladrani Seva Hoi, Ke Sarangpur Ni Seva Hoi, Ke Pramukh Pade Avi Gya. Pan Swami Shri studied in five places. Badran, Gondal, then Badran again, Kambat and then Amdavad. So in Badran he must have studied for about six to eight months. Kambat he also studied for about six to eight months. So here was Sastri Ji Maharaj, he himself, he dropped off Swami to Badran. And he wanted him to study. This is, you can see how, how serious Sastri Maharaj was. That he wanted this young disciple to study Sanskrit. And he started learning Raghuvansh. The name of the Sastri there was Vithal Ram Sastri. And he would teach the sadhus maybe uh, one and a half to two hours every day. And his fee at that time was five to seven rupees. Sounds like nothing to us. Pane Vakana Hari Bhaktas used to give donations in paisa. One paiso is one hundredth of a rupee. Or anama ape. One ana is one quarter of a rupee. So five to seven rupees a month. And their teacher was um, a very jolly guy. Swami often used to talk about Vital Ram Sastri. He was a very good person. He was cheerful. He was funny. And he would teach us the shloks. And in a way that we would like to learn them. He would have a lot of patience. Having fun with him made learning fun. He spoke in such a way that we could easily memorize the shloks. And with a smile on his face, he would teach us these shloks. So Swami... And uh, it was very anukur to all the students, sadhus, to have this teacher. His name was Vithal Ram Sastri. The teacher in Kambad was slightly different to this teacher. That's why we're talking about Vithal Ram Sastri. Now in Badran, there was these four or five sadhus. There was Swami. He was the youngest. There was another young sadhu. His name was Akshar Jivandas. He was from the Gam of Beach. E Akshar Jivandas. Imna Bhai Opanaya London Mache Mahendra Bhai. Ane apra Amrish Pai. Ane there was um, Purshottamanan Brahmachari. And there was a sadhu called Hari Swarup Das. He wasn't quite like uh, in line with our sadhus. But there were these people. And there was also Hari Vallabh Das Purani who joined for a short while. So all these sadhus, they were staying in a place, in this place called Badran. Tia Mandira se Nanu Mandir. And there was a Parshat serving in that Mandir. Ambaram Bhagat. Again, he was a very dutiful parshat doing seva, doing as he was also the pujari. And Ambaram Bhagat had done seva in other places and he was so pious and um, he reminded the santos of the Nand Paramanses of Sri Ji Maharaj. Eva Bhagwadi e Ambaram Bhagat hata. He was a parshat serving these santos in Badran as well. So Swami and the santos, every baras, the day after Ekadashi, they would go out to beg. Evakato Jori Magvi Pare. For your food. Sastri Maharaj said, okay, look, I'll arrange for the fees for the Sastri, but everything else you have to sort out on your own. Your utaro, your, your food, etc. Um, so, the Swami used to go 
with Akshar Jeevan Swami Jodi Magwa Mate because um, the Brahmachari would occasionally come, but Hari Swarup Das would never. He was not cooperative. He would not help prepare any food. He would not come to beg in the villages. And he actually, he would like a Guru Hoyne Edite, he used to behave and he used to have an umbrella. Someone, a uh, Chelo Hoy, and then he would carry the umbrella over his head. And sometimes a Chelo Na Hoy, the Swami himself also carried the umbrella on Hari Swarup's head. So, Edite Pan Thatu, and this Hari Swarup, he would stay alone on the upper floor. And the, all the other three, four sadhus, they would live on the, on the bottom floor. That's where they would do their studying, do their eating, do their sleeping, everything. So seeing his attitude, the other sadhus didn't like it. You can see Swami's attitude as well from this. And they said, why is he not letting us go upstairs? Why is he not letting us go upstairs? So in that way, um, but Swami would calm, the, calm these sadhus down. He said, look, if he doesn't want us to go, then what's the point of us going upstairs? Let's, we can we study downstairs, we have no issues. So, so if we go and annoy him, then he's only going to get become more upset. And he's only going to, you know, start quarreling, quarreling with all of us. So, Pan Swami, despite being the youngest, he was the most mature. And he would explain to the other sadhus, ke, look, let him be. And when Swami was older, once he was asked, ke, you were the youngest, yet you were able to keep everyone on the same page. By helping everyone, by being cooperative, at least it would avoid any type of quarrels. And then Bapa said, Ke when we were studying, only two of us would ever go out to collect uh, the food, uh, to beg for food, to collect the water. The other two wouldn't do anything. So me and Akshar Jivandas, we would go to collect the water, we would wash the utensils. The others didn't have any intention to do anything, but we just got on with it without you know worrying about them without arguing and continuing so you can see swami's nature from the beginning very compromising and Arite trying to get on with everyone he was just interested in working out solutions to any issues and because of swami's conduct he was very well respected in the whole of badran this is not just the mandir in badran or the hari bhaktas in badran so in badran while swami was there this is akshar ji and swami you can see his photograph when he was young and Swami would go to beg for Jodi. The Hari Bhaktas in Badran, they were also a very, a very bhavik. Daya Bhai, Soma Bhai, Thakur Bhai and other devotees. Thakur Bhai na Dharma Patni ata Kashi ba. And she would also prepare food for the Santos. And also arrange to fill their potlas. There was a Purshottam Bhai, he was a Vedanti, he was not a Satsangi. But he would send raw food grains for the Santos every 15 days. And he himself, he would come if there was no one to take the food. So you can see the goodwill in the whole village that Bapa had built up. And then Bapa used to go for Jodi, as we mentioned. He would say, Narayan Hare, Sachidanam Prabhu. He would have people like um, Guruman Bhai, Ishwar Bhai, Gansham Bhai, Madhu Bhai to help him as well. And, you know, there would also be those people who would comment, Karanke, these young sadhus are asking for, you know, Jodi Makta Hoi, which means begging, basically. And when they're going from house to house, you know, Ek Beta Odbots Tamne Malijai, and they would pass comments, ke, you know, Tame Menat Karo, don't beg for anything. Work hard. Why are you eating this free food? But Swami would continue as if not hearing them. He would never be disturbed. We would be bothered by such insults. But Bapa would continue to beg with a sense of pride. A lot of seva came. A lot of food came as well. So whatever the sadhus needed, they used. But the rest would then go to Bochasan. Badran is not very far from Bochasan. The sadhus would just send that to uh, Bochasan. The actual devotees of Badran, even though Sasri Maja Vyosa Karijati, they themselves also said, ke, look, we'll pay for the fees for the teacher. Itle Bapa Gani Vakar Keta ke Badran to Suang Hamaru. That's the goodwill that Bapa built up in Badran. There's a prasang with Ambaram Bhagat. This was the Parshat who um, uh, stayed with the Santos in Badran. Now, Sasri Maja himself used to come to Badran quite often. Uh, probably every 15 to 20 days. And he would stay for a day or so. So he would also give these santos lab. So there was a Bhagat. This Parshad, his name was Ambaram Bhagat. And he looked after the sadhus. Now he was very vigilant. In what way? He was doing his duty. He was just doing his duty. 
એટલે એમને થયું કે આ સાધુ ને બીજી આડી અવળી વાત ન જવી જોઈએ અને દે હેડ બીન સમવન ફ્રોમ ભાદરન પુરુષોત્તમ ભાદરન અને ભગતજી મહારાજ ના શિષ્ય હતા આમ તો પણ એ હી વેન્ટ ઓન ધ રોંગ પાથ ડ્યુ ટુ મિસ અન્ડરસ્ટેન્ડિંગ એટલે સમ ઓફ હિઝ ડિસાઇપલ ધ ઓલસો સેટ અપ અ પ્લેસ ઇન ભાદરન અત્યારે પણ ત્યાં ભાદરન ને બાકરોલ માં એની પરંપરા ચાલે છે ભાદરન ના પુરુષોત્તમ તો અંબારામ ભગત મેડ શો કે યુ શુડ નેવર ગો ધે કે ભલે અક્ષર પુરુષોત્તમ માં માને છે અને ભલે ભગતજી મહારાજ એના ગુરુ હતા પણ એની સમજણ અવળી હતી આ ભાદરન ના પુરુષોત્તમ ની અને એના ડિસાઇપલ્સ ની એટલે ધીસ પીપલ યુઝ ટુ ખમ સંબારામ ભગત વુડ સમટાઇમ્સ બી વરિડ ના વન્સ ટુ સાધુસ ફ્રોમ વડતાલ હેડ ખમ વન સાધુ ઓન વન પાર્શદ કુંજવી હરિદાસ એન્ડ ખોડા ભગત એન્ડ ધે યુઝ ટુ સ્ટે ઇન ધ મંદિર ઓન ધી અપર ફ્લોર એન્ડ બધા સંબંધ બધા સારા હતા સો આ કુંજવી હરિદાસ જે સાધુ હતા અને ખોડા ભગત દે વુડ ખોલ સ્વામી એન્ડ અક્ષરજીવન સ્વામી પેલા બ્રહ્મચારી તક રાજ ના આવે અને પહેલા તો ન જ આવે હરિસ્વરૂપ દાસ પણ દે વુડ ખોલ ધીસ થ્રુ યંગ સાધુ અપસ્ટેઝ મગસ આપે એટલે પ્રસાદ આપે કે જો હરિકૃષ્ણ મહારાજ ના પ્રસાદ છે અને બીજો નાસ્તો પણ આપે અને સ્વામી તો પ્રેમથી જાય સંતોને મળે અને આવી રીતે હી વુડ થેક ધ પ્રસાદ ઇઝ વાલ બીજું બહુ જમવાનું મળતું પણ ના હોય અને ખોડા ભગત શું કહે કે સ્વામી આ કુંજવી હરિદાસ છે ને બહુ સારા છે કે કમ તો વડતાલ વિધસ ત્યાં તને સારું સારું ખાવાનું મળશે અને અહીં અહીં તમને શું મળવાનું છે હે યુ વિલ ગેટ નથિંગ કુંજવી હરિદાસ સેટ ધ સેમ થિંગ કે વાય યુ વેસ્ટિંગ યોર થાઇમ હે ત્યાં વડતાલમાં દેસ હેપીનેસ દેસ પીસ દેસ શાંતિ ત્યાં છે એટલે ધે યુ કેન ગેટ મગસ એવરી સિંગલ ડે હવે સ્વામી ક્યાં જમવા માટે સારું થયા હતા એટલે આવી વાત કરીને સંતો તો હા 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 કરે અને પછી મગસ ની પ્રસાદી લઈને પછી દે ગુડ ગો ડાઉન સ્ટેસ ટુ સ્ટડી એટલે આવું ધીસ હેપન ફોર અ ફ્યુ ડેઝ એટલે અંબારામ ભગત હી ગોટ વરિડ કે આ બે નાના સાધુ છે રિમેમ્બર સ્વામી વોઝ ઓનલી એટીન યા એટીન યર્સ ઓલ્ડ ધીસ ઇઝ નાઇન્ટીન ફોર્ટી વે ટોકિંગ અબાઉટ કે એટીન યર્સ ઓલ્ડ અને સ્વામી હી અંબારામ ભગત વુ સી સ્વામી એન્ડ અક્ષરજીવન સ્વામી ગોઈંગ અપ સ્ટેઝ સો એમને થયું કે શોલી ધીસ ગાઈઝ they will be convinced by these guys and they'll take him to vartal so he once called uh, sugai swami pramukh swami swami shri anaksha ji and swami he said look you should not go upstairs from now on do not listen to these people let's go back to bochasan emne eu thai gyu ane ana shabda sambhri ne aksha jivan das koi bahut serious hoy ne to apne eno lab laye to aksha jivan das e su kayu ke look i have no issues yeah but i am worried yeah this narainda is seriously thinking of going with them ka narainda is khare khare rite vichare che ke mare tya hartal javu che amni sathe ave akshayan to masti ma vata badi karta hata pan ambaram bhagat got wound up and he took it so seriously and he was convinced ka narainda jasej it is so he said ke chalo let's both of you i want to send both of you to bochasan and ev akas swami shri said ke look કે આઈ હેવ નો ઇશ્યુઝ સ્વામી શ્રી સેડ કે આઈ હેવ નો શું કહે સોરી હી સેડ હી ઇઝ ઓનલી જોકિંગ સ્વામી સેડ કે અક્ષર જીવન એ તો ગમ્મત કરે છે હી ઇઝ ઓનલી જોકિંગ ઇવન ઇફ દે વર ટુ ગીવ મી ઓલ ધેર વેલ્થ આઈ ડુ નોટ વોન્ટ ટુ ગો ધે કે મને તો સ્વામી શું કહે છે કે આ ગમ્મત કરે છે એ બધી સંપત્તિ આપે તો એ મારે જવું નથી શાસ્ત્રીજી મારા જેવા મળ્યા છે માટે મારે કોઈ બીજા સંકલ્પ જ નથી I have met Shastri Ji Maharaj. For me, there is no other desire. Mate tame munjavo nai. Ke please do not worry. Tamati pan apane khabar pare. Kari te santo ari te gammat pan karta. So in this way, Ambaram Bhagate pan khub sari seva kari. And he was good humored as well. He took it lightly as well. But this created a very light and a very jovial atmosphere. And Swami must have studied in Bhadran for about six to seven months. and they studied the margopadeshika and the raguvansh bapa must have studied so well that many many years later bapa would often quote from the raguvansh actual shlokas themselves so you can see how studious swami shri must have been at that time just another prasang uh, from badran ke when the santos were staying in badran ke e vakare shastri ji maharaj often used to as we said come to badran and they used to take lap for a day or so પણ એ વખતે ઈશ્નાનો કેસ પણ ચાલતો હતો બોરસદમાં સો શાસ્ત્રી માજ વુડ ઓફ્ટન ગો ટુ બોરસદ વિચ ઇઝ નોટ વેરી ફાર ફ્રોમ ભાદરન શાસ્ત્રી માજ યુઝ ટુ સ્ટે એટ જીવન રામ્સ પ્લેસ અને સો સ્વામી એન્ડ અક્ષર જીવન સ્વામી દે વુડ મેક શ્યોર દેટ વી વોન્ટ ટુ થેક ઇઝ મચ લાભ ઇઝ પોસિબલ બટ વિધાઆઉટ હેવિંગ એન ઇફેક્ટ ઓન આવર સ્ટડીઝ સો અસુન ઇઝ અ ક્લાસ ફિનિશ ઇન ધ મોર્નિંગ વિથ વિઠલરામ શાસ્ત્રી 
Swami Sri and Akshay Jain Swami would leave Badran and they would go all the way to Borsad. This is about five to six kilometers from Badran to Borsad. And then they would spend the whole day with Sastriji Maharaj. And then Sanje Sastriji Maharaj Bodene, after he went to sleep, the Andarama, these two santos, would return to Badran on foot. This would be what? 12 kilometers return journey. But every single day when Sastriji Maharaj was in Borsad, these two sadhus would go from Badran to Borsad and take love of Sastriji Maharaj, Guru Vishe, Evo Prem, Hato. Another prasang that happened in Ghana. Now, Ajuta Santos, they were still studying in Badran. And there was a parain in Ghana. Again, Ghana is in Charotar, very close to Anand and Vidyanagar. And Sastri Maharaj himself did the katha. At that time, it was a mango season. So Sastri Maharaj himself also, Hari Bhakta Jamare, Sukai Keri, and Epaji Santo Nepan Prasadi Apta. And Swami Evakat, he wrote in his diary, the sweetness of the fruit, that the parrot has put in his beak is sweet in a special way. Similarly, the sweetness of the mango that Sastri Maharaj sanctified and gave to us was unique and enjoyable. Eating that mango would bestow peace. Ke esh khawati shanti the jai, apane to swadhi shanti the jai, par Sastri Maharaj ni prasadi thi, Swami Arite e lakhe chhe. So once during this parayan, what happened was, because Swami was not ready to do katha or parayan, he'd never done katha probably in his life, and Sastri Ji Maharaj suddenly told Swami Shri, Ki ave tame katha vancho. So, e vakade Swami e katha vanchi. He was not ready at all. But e vakade Swami wrote in his diary, that I was not ready at all. But Sastri Ji Maharaj insisted and sat me down on the seat to read one chapter. Although I had no hope and my mind was full of fear, with his blessings and grace, I managed to read one chapter. Sastri Maharaj was very pleased and people also enjoyed it. Joke, te oni icha ane drashti thi, je asha noti, ane manma bik reti te katha ek adhyayi ni kari shakyo. I was able to man man do one adhyayi, one chapter. Swami Shri khub raji thaya, ane katha ma evo ras mukyo. Swami so gai che katha ma evo ras mukyo. He gave the whole credit to his guru. Ke evo ne ke bas sari katha thai. Paan katha ma evo ras mukyo, that everyone was pleased. The Yama, you can also see. Ki without any notice, Sastri Maharaj suddenly gave this katha to read and Swami read it, remembering Sastri Ji Maharaj with full devotion and Amati Panapana Khyalave, Swami Shri's humility. MKY Cheke Vidya Vinayena Shobate. Knowledge shines when there is humility and politeness. So, in this way, Swami Shri's knowledge, even though he was very knowledgeable and a learned, Swami Shri's humility, it influenced and it had a great impact on everyone. Ave Pachi, Badran Abhyas Purotaiche. So now this is sometime in 1941, because the Ghana Parain was in June 1941. So Badran studies now shifted to Kambat. And Swami went to study in Kambat. Again, Kambat, Swami stayed for around eight months. One place for two months and another place for six months. And Emma Pan Sastri Maharaj Vat Kariyati, Ke Sastri Na Pagani Gotfan Kari Didi Che, Jamwano Karcho Tamari Mere Ubo Karwano, Jori Magi Laujo. Ke you sort that out on your own. So, E Pramane Swami E Badi Vyavastha Kari, Ane Tya, um, they were studying in Kambat. Kambatma, there was a couple of differences. First of all, Akshay Jivan Swami and Pushwataman and Brahmachari to Hataj. But there was another sadhu. His name was Niran Muktadas. Bija Sampradayanata, Swaminayana Jata, Swaminayana Sadhu Pan from another branch. Ane Vakare Sastri Maje Arite Das Rupya Rifiyati of the Pandit. The Pandit's name was Bhai Narayan Sastri. He was the teacher of Bapa. And there was Hari Bhakta called Kora Bhai Master and also Dhaneshwar Maharaj. A Brahman, Satyapriya Swamina, father. And they used to look after the santos and take care of the fees as well to pay the pandit. And Sastriji Maharaj made the same avevasta there as well for the santos. Again, Niran Muktadas, he was a bit of a um, loner. He would never come, Bhiksha Magwa Mate. And Swami Emne Prem Tiwad Karike Chalo Ne Jori Magwa Mate. And Esu Kaike, begging is not my thing. Ke mane na fave. Ave koine fave ne. Ipan karvu pare. And Pachi kada jau pare. So he would never say nain hare sachidan prabhu. He would just stand there like a stump. But 
પછી જમવા માટે એક તો જોડી માગવાના આવે પણ જમવા માટે પણ આ નિરણ મુક્તદાસ વોઝ વેરી ફસી અને દેન ધ બ્રહ્મચારી હુઆ ટુ મેક ઓલ ધ ફૂડ સ્વામી વુડ ગેર એવરીથિંગ રેડી અક્ષય જીવન દાસ વુડ ગેર એવરીથિંગ રેડી ફોર ધ બ્રહ્મચારી ટુ કુક ધ મિલ્સ અને ધીસ નિરણ મુક્તદાસ વુડ એન્ડ હેલ્પ જોડી પણ ના માગે હી વુડન્ટ હેલ્પ ગેર એનીથિંગ રેડી વાસન પણ ના ઉટકે અને દેન હી વુડ ફાઇન્ડ ફોલ્સ વિથ ધ ફૂડ કે બ્રહ્મચારી આમ બનાવ્યું છે ને આમ બનાવ્યું છે સો ધ બ્રહ્મચારી ગોડ અપ સેટ એઝ વેલ એટલે પુરુષોત્તમાનો બ્રહ્મચારી શું કહે છે કે આવી રીતે આઈ એમ નોટ ગોના મેક એનીથિંગ નાઉ આઈ એમ જસ્ટ ગોના મેક બાકરી એન્ડ શાક આઈ એમ નોટ ગોના મેક એનીથિંગ એલ્સ અને એ વખતે આ નિરણ મુક્ત દાસ કારણ કે નિરણ મુક્ત દાસ રિફ્યુઝ ટુ હેલ્પ હિમ હી સેડ આઈ કમ હેર ટુ સ્ટડી સો આઈ વિલ ઓનલી સ્ટડી આઈ વોન્ટ ડુ એનીથિંગ એલ્સ તો બ્રહ્મચારી હી વોઝ ઓલ્સો સ્ટડીંગ સો હી સેટ ચાલો આઈ એમ નોટ ગોના મેક એનીથિંગ એલ્સ તો આવી રીતે થયું એટલે સ્વામીશ્રી પછી બધાને ભેગા કર્યા કે જો આપણે વી ઓની ઇટ વોન્સ અ ડે વી હેવ ટુ સ્ટડી સ્ટડી માટે પણ આપણે જમવું તો પડે ને વ્યવસ્થિત તો અમે બધી તૈયારી કરશું અમે બધી તૈયારી કરશું વિલ કીપ એવરીથિંગ રેડી ફોર યુ પણ જે વગાર કરવાનો હોય કે એક્ચુઅલ જમવાનું બનાવવાનું હોય તો બ્રહ્મચારી જ કરી શકે એટલે આવી રીતે બાપાએ કહ્યું કે લોક મેક એવરીથિંગ દાળ ભાત શાક રોટલી બનાવો અને વ્યવસ્થિત આપણે જમા જમો જેથી કરીને આપણે સ્ટડી પણ કરી શકીએ કારણ કે દિવસમાં એક જ વખત જમવાનું હતું અને એ રીતે પછી સ્વામી અને અક્ષરજીવન સાહેબ બધી મહેનત કરતા અને બ્રહ્મચારી બધું બનાવતા એ બ્રહ્મચારી બનાવાય બનાવે એમાં પણ નિરણ મુક્ત દાસ હી વુડ ઓવેઝ ફાઇન ફોલ્સ કે ભાખરી આવી છે ને શાક આમ છે ને આમ ને તેમ અને સ્વામી પછી બધાને શાંત કરે અને એ વખતે જ સ્વામી પણ કહેતા પણ ખરા એવું ને કે બાપા બોલતા નહીં બાપા કહેતા નિરણ મુક્ત દાસને કે ચાલો લે શે ધ જવાબદારી ધ રિસ્પોન્સિબિલિટીઝ કે લુક વિલ ગેટ ધ દાળ એન્ડ ચોખા રેડી વિલ ગેટ ધ વોથ બટ યુ એટ લીસ્ટ વોશ વોશ ધ યુટેન્સ યુટેન્સલ્સ અને એમાં પણ આ નિરણ મુક્ત દાસ ના પાડે તો પણ આ રીતે પછી સ્વામી અને અક્ષરજીવન સ્વામીએ બધી સેવા કરી દેતા એ વખતે ખંભાતમાં પણ બાપા જોડી માગતા તો યુઝ ટુ ગો ટુ નાર એન્ડ તારાપુર નેબરિંગ વિલેજીસ અને ત્યાં પણ એકાદશીના દિવસે અગેન ટ્વાઇસ અ મંથ દે વુડ ગો ટુ બેક ફોર આર્મ્સ અગેન ધ ગુડ વિલ દેટ બાપા હેટ બિલ્થ અપ દે વોઝ અ રસિક બાય જવેરી લિવિંગ ઇન ખંભાત હી વોઝ નોટ અ સત્સંગી બટ હી વુડ આસ સ્વામીશ્રી એવરી સિંગલ ડે કે ધી યુ નીડ એનીથિંગ અને એ રીતે પછી હી વુડ સપ્લાય ઇટ એટલે સ્વામી શ્રી દીદ એવરીથિંગ જોડી માગતા જમવાનું બધું તૈયારી તૈયારી કરતા અને સ્ટડીઝ પણ કરતા અને હી વુડ કીપ ધ સંતોષ ટુ ગેધર આપણે કહીએ ને શથાઓ શથાઓ ધાણી કે વોન હુ કેન ડુ વન હન્ડ્રેડ થિંગ્સ ઓલ એટ વોન્સ ધ સ્વામી યુઝ ટુ ડુ દેટ અનધર ટુ કપલ કપલ ઓફ પ્રસંગ ઇન ઇન ખંભાત ધ બાપા ઓફ ધન યુઝ ટુ સે કે ખંભાતમાં એક માયા તીતા નંદજી હતા એ ભાલના ભગવાન તરીકે ઓળખાતા તો એની પણ જગ્યા હતી અને બાપા ઘણી વખત ત્યાં જતા ફોર હિઝ દર્શન અને માયા તીતાનંદને પણ આ રીતે સ્વામી માટે ઘણો ભાવ થયો હતો અને એ વખતે અકીક પથ્થર એ પણ બાપા ઘણી વખત કથામાં વાત કરતા એ વખતે ધીસ ઇઝ અ સ્પેશિયલ ટાઈપ ઓફ સ્ટોન ધીસ ઇન્ડસ્ટ્રી વોઝ પ્રોમિનન્ટ એટ ધા થાઇમ ઇન ખંભાત એન્ડ યુ ફિલ અપ અ લાર્જ પોટ વિથ સેન્ડ એન્ડ દેન ધીઝ અકીક સ્ટોન એ વુડ બી લાઈક રફ બટ યુ પુટ સેન્ડ એન્ડ યુ શેક ધ પોટ વિગરસલી and then the stones would become very very smooth due to the friction of the sand and the gravel so swami would often use this example uh, in his katha and say that we have to tolerate hardships and in that way will become smooth and apre satsang ma aplu ghartar thase we just take a couple of prasangs before we um uh, conclude at that time as we said the teacher in uh, kambat was a bit different to the one in Badran. The Badran teacher was Vital Das Sastri, very jolly, and used to teach the sadhus very well. This teacher was slightly different, very serious. His name was Bhai Narayan Sastri, and he would get annoyed very quickly. And Anira Mukta Das Ji Bhanta Hata, Ek to Koi Mehnat Nota Karta, and he was very slow to grasp certain concepts. And the prashna push, 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 kariya kare. And the teacher would get annoyed and say, look, stop asking questions. But Anira Mukta Das, he would keep asking questions. So one day when this carried on for a few days the teacher got annoyed he went mad he said look none of you deserve to be taught i've come here to teach you after doing tayari u be kalak thi tayari kari nahi aavu chu and you keep asking questions and you know i go off track so he goes i'm not going to teach you anymore he started leaving the class so swami went to him swami page lage swami maafi mage swami emne danvat kare so you can see and then the teacher would say okay i'll teach you and this carried on for a couple of months Again, after a couple of months, once a letter arrived from Sastri Ji Maharaj. Sastri Ji Maharaj had suggested that you can make it. He told the teacher that you can make it. Uh, or he told the students that you can ask your teacher to teach you this. So when the Sastri, he received this letter from Sastri Ji Maharaj, again he got upset. He said, he flared up and said, look, 
whatever Sastri Maharaj has suggested is fine, may be fine, but I'm only going to teach you this, whatever I teach you, only that you learn. So sadhus obviously, ye to Sastri Maharaj yamna guru hata, but we want to study what Sastri Maharaj has told us. And eh, Fari, the teacher said, look, I'm going. And he started walking down the stairs. And Swami again went to plead with him. And this used to happen time and time again. For the eight months while they were in uh, Kambat, so I Lakyusha Gujarati Make Mijaji Guruji, the moody teacher, and Swami had to appease him all the time. So not just the teacher, but the difficult colleagues and the circumstances was a sure recipe for frustration and failure. Yet Bapa, he continued and he continued his studies and carried on in this way without getting frustrated. And uh, when Swami was asked many years later, Ke, you had so many difficulties. Ane tamare atubru karuanu autu. Ane sate vara sahakar na ape. They will give you no type of cooperation. To kantaro noto auto, did you not feel frustrated? To what did Swami reply? That we were studying as per Sastri Maji's wishes. There was no question of frustration. Once you have understood the nature of a person, then it was no issue. Ke Swami ni agnati banta hata. Ele kantaro shu. Again, this was the way Swami Shri did his seva. Okay, understanding everyone, understanding their nature, and then interact with them accordingly to avoid frustration and to avoid conflict. And the final person we'll take today, that while they were in Kambat, as I said, Kesastri Maharaj would often, like he went to Badran, he would also go to Kambat, just to meet the sadhus. In this way, Karekar Sastri Maharaj probably just wanted to give love to Shantilal, but Sashima would often go to give love to the Santos. Santos Pan Raji Tata. And Korabai Master. He was the main Hari Bhakta there. And Dhaneshwar Maharaj. So Korabai Master na gare Sashima used to stay. So one day it was a day of fasting. Ekadashi hoi ke nom hoi ke pancham hoi. It was a day of fasting. So Santos had fasted all day. Not even water. It was Nijra Upas. And Korabai Master. Bo bhavi kata hi asked Sashri Ji Maharaj. What do you want me to make for tomorrow? What shall we arrange to make for the sadhus tomorrow? So Sastri Maharaj said, Look, Upas Pachi Santo Biju Kain Khata Nati Magaj Kai Che. Normally, after fasting, the sadhus they don't eat anything. Magaj Kai Che. They eat only mug. But Akura by Master, instead of hearing mug, aj, only mug, he heard the word Magasa. Apre magas hoi chane satya saina prasadna box ma. To khoda bai su samajya ke magas. Edle pachi a khoda bai magas banavyu. He made this uh, sweet in the morning, magas. Ane pachi when the thar was offered to Thakur ji, Sastri ji maharaj yane sadhu e joy ke looking for the mug and they couldn't find any mug. And they saw this magas. Edle khoda bai master e vat kari ke tamme kawin e ke sadhu magas, uh, magaj khai che. Apre pan magaj khata ato koi no. But that's a different, um, in a different context. But Santo Magaj Kai Che. So he understood Magas. And Erite Pachi, the Santos burst out with laughter. Lavapan Prasango Banta. Kavirite Sasti Majana Santo. Ek Bijani Sate Panarite Gammat Karta. So we've covered up to B17. And from next time, we'll start with B18. Shri Swamrain Bhagwanani Jai.